You have a vision. God wants to make a change through you. And then you hear somebody there. You hire another person there. I want to tell you in the world we live, not all lions are lions. They are robots. And they make them like lions. When you see them, and they can give them the voice of a lion. They roar. But they are not real lions. They are cloned lions. I pray you'll not be afraid of shadows. Yeah. I said you'll not be afraid of shadows. Yeah. There are some people, shadows have driven them back from the path of beauty. Shadows. Things that are not real, they are just cloned lions. And then when they hear the roar, the roar deafens them. And the roar blindfolds them. And they cannot see. I will see. I will see. I like the language of David. David said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear. Though I walk through, keep on walking, you'll get to where you are going. And I walk through the valley. A valley is not a, it's not a permanent thing. You will not live your life in the valley of a shadow. And then David realized it's only a shadow. The shadow of a sword cannot cut me. The shadow of a lion cannot bite me. The shadow of a dog cannot hurt me. It's just a shadow. It will be unfortunate if an adult will see the picture of a lion. And then be so afraid, the lion is going to kill me, chop me up. No son, no daughter, that's not a lion. That is a shadow, a picture of a lion. It doesn't have life. I said it doesn't have life. A lion has life, has power, has destructive power. And the shadow of a lion has no life, has no power. So understand, the things that make people cowards, many of those things are shadows. And so we have number two then, the cowardice of charged men. Number three, you see as David came on, actually David came on a different errand. The father said, Take this food and go give to your brothers, senior brothers, people that should make a change. Go give them this and see how things are and come back and give me report. He wasn't prepared to fight. Maybe you came here. Conference for men. What are we doing there? Okay, maybe they'll talk about this, about this, about that. And you think uh, that will benefit me. And I, I pray that everything we've heard will benefit you in Jesus' name. You know, we heard about health. And about health, uh, we need to understand everything is not coming from demons. If, uh, you know, if you sleep late, you normally sleep at 10 or 10 30 but this particular night you slept at 2 30 a.m and as you slept and uh, you try to sleep but because your rhythm of sleeping is affected you're not able to sleep at the right time and then when you eventually close your eyes you begin to see some apparitions they have come they have come no they have not come it's because your brain the cells and the neutrons and the connections in the brain they have been disturbed because of your sleep that's why those things are there. And when you, you know, sleep more and wake up in the morning and take your bath, all those imaginary demons, they are all gone. I said they are all gone. And so sometimes if you take, you know, heavy food at maybe 10 o'clock 
and the scene is not digesting yet, and then you go to sleep, you'll find there are, you know, sleep disturbers, demons in quotes. But they are not demons. They're just the time you eat and the time you go to sleep. We need to wipe off all these change makers. Do not uh, bog themselves down with all these imaginary demons. All those imaginary demons, they canceled away from your life in Jesus' name. And, and so David came, and as David came, Eliab was not expecting David to show up. And so he said, why are you here? What are you doing here? How is it you are prognosing into what is our right? My friend Eliab, that's your right, but you are not making use of your right. You're standing behind the, skin, uh, the screen, and uh, you are not doing what you ought to do. And here I come, and David said, Is there not a cause? Think about that. A person that knows I am on, la on earth, planet earth, is there not a cause I am at school? I'm studying now. But the study and the certificate, they are not the end of my destiny. Is there not a cause I am living in this area? And I see the situation, I see the hunger, I see the aspirations of the people, I see their sorrow, I see their problem. Why am I here? Is, that, is there not a cause? And I see Goliath that comes to threaten the nation of God. I see the hunger, I see the bad situation against our nation. And I am here to, he to hear the sound and to hear the sorrows of the people and to see their tears. Is there not a cause? Always think in your life. When somebody challenges you, when somebody tries to, you know, block your way, why are you here? You might, you might even not be a native of this state, but God has brought you here. And nothing happens by accident. Give me a good amen. amen. There's no accident in your life. Amen. I am not an accident. I said I am not an accident. And so there must be a cause. And so David said, is there not a cause? The cause for the change maker. 